Notification Nation, what's going on? What's happening? Welcome to the channel and welcome to another episode of Flashback Friday. Today's game is one that NCAA football fans have been playing since the day that it came out. That's right, I am talking about NCAA Football 14. Now, this game was released in July of 2013 for the PS3 and the respectfully okay now it's supposed to come out next year on next gen consoles but i'm not gonna hold my breath because i still got this one right here so let's go ahead and get things cracking we are starting out on second down and eight and we are playing with oregon state and we are gonna complete our first pass of the game to andre riley for a gain of 21 but now it is third and 13 and guess who shows up once again? It is my man in a whole hundred grand, Andre Riley, gain of 30. Now, third down and 12, and we went right back to the well again. This man already has about 60 yards on the game on three catches on the first drive, and on fourth and one, we go to Andre Riley once again. He's got four catches for 68 yards, and it might get ugly for California. That's all I'm saying right now. Nathan Thompson will get involved in the offense. He will pick up a gain of 10 second and inches. And this one is a touchdown. Anthony Thomas makes the catch. I'm not gonna hold you, there's way too much snow. I really didn't know if that was a touchdown or not for real, but we got points on the board, that's all I know. Kevin Turner now makes that catch, gain of 13 yards as Cal starts to power up. And that is gonna be Peter Graves on first down with that handoff for a gain of nine. And that is gonna do it for the end of the first quarter as Oregon State is trying to do something like we knew something. Seven to nothing to end the first. Now starting off the second quarter, it is third down and one. And Peter Graves got tripped up, but still picks up a gain of 11. And I'm glad he tripped because my man was going to the end zone, all right? He takes this next handoff for a gain of three yards on first down and 10, second down and seven now. And Ryan Allen moving around, making things happen with his legs. He didn't have anybody open, but he didn't need to. Gain of 16 on the play. Now he's gonna fake the handoff, keep it himself with the option. And Ryan Allen will pick up another gain of four yards. Second down and six now. And this handoff goes to Peter Graves up the middle. Gain of eight and is that not a touchdown? It's not a touchdown, people. It's not a touchdown at all. Second down and goal. And Ryan Allen says he's just gonna do it himself. Gain of two on the play. That is gonna be a touchdown as Cal ties up the game. And I really don't know why I kept that replay in. It's two yards, all right? We've seen two yards before. <laughs> I'm hate, don't worry about it. First down and 10, gain of five as Richard Gatewood catches his first pass of the game. And now my man Singleton said, if Allen can do it, I can do it as well. He's gonna pick up six yards on that run for first down. And it's good to know that we can do that too. Now we're gonna send McFadden into motion to the right side of the field. Handoff goes to Gatewood, and Gatewood breaks a tackle and will finally get pushed out of bounds after picking up a gain of 22 yards. One minute and 49 seconds left to go. And my man Thomas Singleton is starting to think that he's more of a running back than a quarterback. <laughs> but we are still passing the ball. Great juke by Elliott. Chance Elliott did not give his defenders a chance. Shook them out of their shoes. Pick up of five, and it's Anthony Thompson once again. On second down and five, Thompson is wide open in the end zone, and Singleton didn't have to do much on that play. Just had to get the ball to his man because Thompson 
was wide open. All right, wide. Yes. <laughs> that is going to do it for the end of the first half. Oregon State up 14 to 7. And if y'all are wondering, like, oh, you got the ranked team. You, you didn't play a ranked team. Hey, look, I picked two teams that had the same rating on offense, defense, and special teams, okay? This is the original. This isn't revamped. This is none of that. This is the original. Everything lined up. And if you see on the screen, we are smoking those boots right now, all right? Effectively. Seven minutes and two seconds time of possession compared to their 208. As far as the run game and the pass game goes, we are smoking them. But what just happened? Allen set up the option, took it himself, but look at me running right past him. Whose mans am I? Who's I? That was bad, y'all. I'm not gonna hold you. Second down and 10 now. Davis is in the game. Who is Davis? I'm guessing Allen got hurt on that run. They got Davis in, and he is coming in to fill the shoes of Allen and so far so good because he just made a beautiful pass to Peter Graves and shout out to Graves for not stopping on that play he kept moving he got open he got down the field and now they are on our side of the field and look at that Davis with a beautiful pitch and Graves I was about to say Graves might make it all the way into the end zone He's got six carries, 64 yards, and they are now at the seven-yard line. Second down and goal. Allen is back in, and he is back down on the ground as well. Loss of three. They are now at the 10-yard line, and it's third down and goal. Allen looking, finds Kevin Turner, and that is a touchdown for Cal. They have now tied the game up and I really did not want that to happen. I wanted to keep my foot on the gas. However, we, we couldn't do it. We could not do it at all. And now Singleton is sacked on the play. Loss of four, but it's third down and 15 now. We'll set up a screen for Gatewood. And where did we think we were going? Gain of eight, but it's not enough for a first down. Cal gets the ball back and it's third and 10. And that is an easy pass and catch for Derek Swain and Ryan Allen as they pick up that first down with a gain of 12. First and 10, pass is complete to Frederick. And he has got a gain of 10 as well, but not enough for a first. Second down in inches, and Peter Graves is going backwards. We have not said that a lot today. I don't even know if we have said that today, but Peter Graves goes backwards to end the third quarter and it is all tied up right here in beautiful digital Oregon but we have got to do something like we knew something so let's go ahead and try to get it man third down and three right hold on what what hey my man got tossed like a little baby look at this huh this man <laughs> This man got thrown like a little baby into the quarterback and we still couldn't make a stop. Oh man, oh man, that is, that is demoralizing. <laughs> Gain of five on the play, third down and four. Allen dancing around, he's gonna find Marquise Fredericks and Fredericks is gonna find a gain of 13 on the play. Now on first and 10, it's gonna be a loss of four and our defense is not trying to have all that. All right, second down and 14. Pass is complete to Turner. And that's gonna get them nine yards on the play. Third down and five now. And they are essentially knocking on the door at this point and no. No, no, no. Chris Clark gets two hands on it, but couldn't stand on it. He drops the interception. They will set up for a field goal. Kick is up, and the kick, much like them, is golden. Now on second down and 10, Anthony Thompson catches that pass for a gain of eight. Third down and two now, and it's Gatewood 
taking this handoff for a gain of 13. There's one minute and 28 seconds left to go in the game. And we have to get it going. But that's not the way. That is not the way at all. Richard Gatewood with a loss of four on the play. Second down and 14. Gatewood makes the catch. And will finally get drugged down after a gain of 13. Third down and one now. And it's Singleton with the keep. And he's going to the end zone. Touchdown. Let's go. Oregon State picks up another seven on the legs of Thomas Singleton. I already told you my man thinks he's a running back. All right? He's a dual threat. And he's pretty good. I'm not going to hold you. First down and 10. Pass is complete. And this is Swain. And man, oh man, I thought he was going to keep going. Not going to hold you. 35 seconds left to go in the game. Allen decides he's going to run it himself. Gets tackled. Uh, gets tackled out of bounds. We wanted them to burn another timeout, but it's all good. Second down and four. And the pass is intercepted by Young. And he might go to the house. He, not, he's not going to the house. All right. But he will after the game because that is going to do it. Oregon State holds it down on their own home field in the most snow that I've seen on this game. And it does not matter what the weather is. We are still out here delivering like FedEx, UPS, and all that. All right? Shout out to my man in the whole hundred grand, Thomas Singleton. The man went 13 for 14. 13 for 14. All right? And yes, this was on Heisman. I don't know how we did it. As probably the highest passing percentage that I've ever had on this game because your boy is known for throwing pick after pick after pick. Yeah, I don't like it either, but it's what happens, man. But shout out to y'all for watching this video right here. And if you made it this far in the video and you have not subscribed yet, take some time out to do so. And I'm talking about like right now yes make sure you ring that bell for notifications because we do videos like this pretty much every friday we might miss one out of a month but your boy be tired all right it's understandable we also got a franchise going in all pro football 2k8 and i got a couple things coming up that should be pretty special so y'all stay tuned in for that and make sure make sure you drop me a comment because when you talk I talk back. That's how conversations work. All right, man. I appreciate y'all. I'm out of here, man, because I've been me. You've been you. And until the next time we speak. <laughs>